the door. Uh, I just, I don't want to offend you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm holding a hot cup of coffee and 20 pounds of books. Offend me, please. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, sorry about the door thing. It's just I was married for nine years, and then apparently everything I did offended her. So, she sounds very difficult to please. Yeah, my lawyer would agree. Uh, well, can I make it up to you? Can I help you with maybe care something? I mean, I don't see why not. I only live a couple of blocks down. What's the worst that could happen? You steal a lot of books, some nesting bowls, a robe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. It's not your size, by the way. <laughs> Uh, so you like to shop, huh? You know, my ex-wife actually, no, we're not gonna do that. Uh, how, how's your latte, Sarah? It's on your cup. Sarah, with an H. Right, uh, it's actually uh, Sarah without an H. But you know, after telling the barista guy a dozen times and him not getting it, I gave up, because you know what? Macchiato still tastes the same with or without an H. Thought I saw you there before. You noticed me. I did. Did you notice me? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, you know, it was your smile, actually, that I first noticed. I'm, a, I'm an OBGYN, so I, I do see a lot of women. I'm just not usually looking at their faces, which that sounds super creepy. Can we just, <laughs> can we just start over, take this back, and I'll go open the door for you the, right away? That's okay, Dr. Barry. Without an H. Without an H. So tell me, just so I know for when I, when I do start dating again, what was it that uh, gave me away? Was it the awkward conversation, the, well, the failed attempt at a compliment, or just constantly referencing my ex-wife? I'm gonna go with all of the above. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dating's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Dating is a nightmare. <laughs> my friend Miranda says that if I don't put myself back out there soon, I'm likely to snap from extreme loneliness and start murdering random men for sport. I mean, who am I to judge, you know? <laughs> this is me. Oh, wow. It's a nice place. I don't usually invite strangers in, but you seem nice and normal-ish. <laughs> and, uh, and I have a bottle of wine in this bag that I can open. Wine? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't know if I sh... Uh, sh uh, I don't... Oh. Uh, yeah, because okay, well, I just, you know, I thought I would ask, and, um, thanks so much for your help. Uh, maybe, maybe later, if you... That's how you'll stay single. Amazing! That was so good. <laughs> wow. Oh, thanks. You know, I still have that bottle of wine in here. If you change your on my way up. <laughs> you got this, bear. Interesting decorating. Yeah, I like weird things. Lucky for me. Oh. You know, you have an amazing voice. <laughs> Do you ever hope to share it? No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even imagine like getting up in front of a whole bunch of people and like just sing. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh, oh I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, 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 it's oh okay. shoot. It's okay. Uh this is my favorite dress. I I I, I I'll, I'll be right back. It's, it's okay. so sorry. It's totally fine. Sorry. Um I I do kind of like these pants. Do you mind if I use your bathroom? 
Okay. <sighs> you just made it worse, Barry. You're such an idiot. No wonder your wife left you. There? Hey, we have to call the cops. I, I, I found a... Shit. I was hoping to have a glass of wine first. Mm. Oh, hey. This is my friend Miranda. Hi, Barry. Sarah's told me so much about you. It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, well, I met your other friend in the shower. Only he wasn't looking so good. Get out of my way, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're threatening us. Oh, that's really good, Doc. Yeah, we're in control, Barry, not you. You know, there was something telling me that I shouldn't have come in here, and I should have listened to that voice instead of yours. Show you any way that I want. I'd be surprised how many men secretly crave that until I devour them. What are you, a cannibal? She's a siren, Barry. A siren? A siren? That was you singing, not Sarah? Okay, you two are crazy. Oh, Barry, don't be so close minded. Well, you expect me to believe you're a mythical singing mermaid? <laughs> I'm not that type of siren. Ooh. Can I can I woman explain it to him? Please. Go for it, Sarah. She's more of a bird-like descendant from ancient Greek times. She seeks out those who take delight in worldly pleasures. For they will become the devil's prey. Nice dramatic ending, Sarah. Aw, thanks! So you see, we're not all half mermaids luring sailors in for a good time. Right, just a half bird lady whose friend lured a doctor in for a good time. Look, what is going on here? We need you. Me? Well, we needed a doctor. So I followed you and Miranda seduced you to come up here. Oh, okay, so you're a stalker and you're a man-eater. Wow, how convenient. I would have brought you up here myself, but Sarah, she plays damsel in distress so much better than me. Oh, no, no, no. Any woman could have brought up this loser fish. I mean, you know, he's just a pathetic, desperate divorcee who hasn't been laid in years. That's a pretty accurate picture, right, Barry? We brought you up here for a very specific reason. I need to die. Die? Well, th then jump out of a window. There's, look, there's a window right there. What, what do you need me for? I need you to perform an operation. I want you to swap my voice box with Sarah's so that I'm no longer a siren. And then I can live out my life, just like any other mortal. You wanna swap voice boxes? Okay, first of all, not that kind of doctor. Second of all, I'm not a fool. So whatever you both are, you are fucking nuts. <laughs> What is happening? Will you do the operation? I'm losing my mind. And I'm losing my patience. Look, you, you don't want me to do this kind of operation. I'm, I'm just a nervous, twitchy gynecologist. She can make you plunge this dagger deep into your brain if you don't do what we ask you. Not like anyone's gonna miss you. Okay, I'll do it. See? Was that so hard? Great. 
I've been thinking about this ritual for a very long time. Yeah, I bet you have. Look, what you need is an otologist. I just do pelvic exams and routine pap smears. My expertise is in a very well, different part of the body. I trust you more with my neck. But neither one of you can trust me when you're under anesthesia. Well, that's why you'll put us out one at a time. That way, we can keep an eye on you. See? Okay, so are there any more questions? Because my expertise is with all the delicious parts of a man's body. If Miranda's not completely full of shit, you could turn into some sort of man-eating siren bird thing. Is that really what you want? Can't believe you just asked that. Just shut the fuck up, do what she tells you, and don't make her angry. Don't worry. All right, are we all set and ready to go? Miranda, look out! simply do what I asked, I might consider letting you live. Believe me when I say I am done being a man-eater. And Sarah here wants to be a siren. You ever been ghosted, Barry? I've been told you'd be really cute if you just lost a few pounds. I'm gonna be able to sing and have any man anywhere come running. And then I get everything I want after. Anything better? Yes. Leaving. This is fucking insane. <laughs> insane enough to cause you to plunge that dagger right through your brain. While Sarah writes her suicide note, tracing your own signature off that coffee shop receipt. You're sick. You're the doctor who's gonna cure me. as much as she does, maybe even more. So don't think I won't take you out if something happens to her. Look, my day started with a refreshing drink and a pleasant walk, and I am now contemplating murdering a siren. Cut me a little slack, Sarah. Oh, okay. You are alive. That's good, I hope. Oh, 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 no, no. I would maybe wait a little bit before you try to speak. I sound horrible. Thank you, Barry. I'm really sorry I put you through all of this. I just really wanted to live a normal life. Please forgive me. I didn't know what else to do. Sarah, you sound amazing. 
like a true siren. Mm. You'll never forget your first. you do that? This was the only way. Stagger's been dipped in the blood of a former victim. You saved my life. I told you if you did what I asked, I'll let you live. Actually, you said you might let me live. I remember that might quite distinctly. Barry, I really am sorry. I never wanted to live a selfish life full of Bonded for life. Well, as long as you're okay with dating a much older woman. Wait, how much older? Mm, stop counting after like 500 years. <laughs> <laughs> after you. Oh, such a gentleman. To Celestial Falls. Well, we just come from there. Sorry to say, the devil beat you to it. Let's go! Come on! The 
plague came without warning, placing humanity itself on trial. It came for those we love and those we hate in equal measure, the relative and the stranger, the prophet and the pauper. Theologians believe the gates of hell had collapsed, unleashing its demons upon the earth. It is the mission of a sacred few, those with proven immunity, to identify the contagion before it spreads. They've been called humanity's last hope. They are the mutant readers. Mrs. Jones? Thanks for coming, Father. Can I fix you something to eat? No, thanks. I'm on a schedule. Is this mercy? Yes, Father. I'm not a priest. Let's get started. I'd like to review some of her symptoms. Well, she ain't been herself if that's what you're getting at. She spits at me and talks some words I don't understand. In a language she's never studied? Yes, Father. Sir, can you help her? I need to administer a test for final determination. Let's just pray. She hasn't entered the final stage. Where is she? Back there. feeling today? Afraid. Not of me, I hope. No. You have kind eyes. Who are you afraid of? If you can identify the intruder, I might be able to make him go away. It doesn't like to say its name. No, they usually don't. What's that? It's a mirror. It'll help me find what's ailing you. Let's look at the numbers I have. Then you know the world has been overrun. I mean, 
Come on, with a patient who moves past the point of expulsion. Okay, by expulsion, I take it you mean an exit. Well, call it what you like, but all I know is that when expulsion fails, the only known method of containment, the only known method, is decapitation. To preserve their immortal soul. If that makes you sleep at night, yes. Yes. Now that's a picture. Got it? Yeah. All right. Pete Roisman says we'll be going back to school in the fall. Without a doubt. Everything will be back to normal by then. Mm. That's wishful thinking, Mikey. Nothing's coming back, not until this passes. It is passing. Maybe you haven't heard. Some of the salons are opening up next week. Because that's essential. Well, yeah, it is to me. Look at this. Come on, guys, let's set the table. Your father will be wanting his supper when he gets home. We haven't heard from him in days. Well, the storm has knocked out a lot of the towers. We still have power. Yeah, thank goodness, right? Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Your father will message us when he can. Well, what if he can't? I just saw the report from Celestial Falls. The infection rate is off the chart. <gasps> Go wash up. Michael, I I'll get that. I wish you would watch what you say in front of your brother. Why? Shouldn't he know the truth? What truth, Teresa? That daddy might not be coming home. Maybe you forgot your father. We don't know that. I'm all right. Let me in. Daddy, we can't. You gave us direct orders not to let you in after seven. I am giving the orders now. Get away from the door. Let me in. Trust me. If you let him in, I swear I'll chop his head off. You, you what? You heard me. I swear I'll do it. Trust me. He could die out there. Or we could die in here. In. Michael, just go to your room. Mom, go! I hate Let you! Me in. Trust me. Let me in. Dalton, honey, we need to get you retested, okay? Just spend the night in the cellar and we'll bring the doctor first thing in the morning to take a good long look. Okay, honey?
When the first wave hit, the world wasn't ready to believe. They called it a hoax, a mass hallucination, but the truth became impossible to ignore. Entire families were infected, including our own. My baby sister, Madeline, was the first to show signs. Our father did what was necessary. The meter was designed by holy disciples and used to identify the forces of darkness. Its powers of detection came from the meter reader, not from the instrument itself. Less than 10% of the population has this gift. Some call them saints, but my father doesn't buy all that. He says they're just regular Joes doing the work of heroes. Coco, please. I don't have a choice. This is bigger than us. Not even me. Remember, the devil is the master of lies. What are you doing? <laughs> What's it look like, Dumplin? Check the fridge for some comeback sauce, would you? All that traveling. Your father's gonna be famished. You can't go down there. Yeah, I know that, honey. I'm just gonna leave a tray by the cellar door. Not if he's reached the final stage. He'll be hungry, yeah, but not for your fried green tomatoes. Those things eat human beings. They devour entire families, starting with their own. Oh, baby. You're confused. No, he's, he's not, he's not a thing. He's your father and my you husband. Go down there! Michael! Just fine. You'll see. Remember. The devil is the master of lies. Lord, grant me strength in this. My family's darkest hour.
Mom? Dad? Mikey? <laughs> <laughs> In the name of God, demon, I command you, reveal yourself. <laughs> Michael, where's mom and dad? your heads! Attention citizens, bring out your heads! crisis surges across the global community, the debate between science and religion has been rendered moot. Whatever side you fall on, whether you consider this scourge a disease or a spiritual comeuppance, there seems to be little debate that the tracing and containing the spread is our number one priority. In local news, 
Castle County is reporting a disturbing new spike in cases. Officials strongly urge those with the media to join the fight. The world needs you. Now, more than ever. My father used to say that what he did was a public service, and that someday history will sanctify our duties. Just regular Joes, he'd say, doing the work of heroes. I guess that makes me a regular Josephine. Either way, my work is just beginning. <laughs>